No, I look fat. Hi guys. I'm I'm not gonna say hey guys, but the walking sucks actually. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I am going to do my makeup for you guys. All of you Vogue readers and you Vogue bloggers and you Vogue fans, we're gonna have some fun today, so I hope you're ready. We're gonna start with the foundation. So I like to get messy with it. Let's do this. This I just like because it's like a safe bet. It's consistent. Okay, that's only half of my face. I can do my makeup in 10 minutes or 10 hours it feels like sometimes. Depends on what kind of day you're having and how much in a rush you really are. My next step is gonna be a little bit of contour. Mocha here, to contour right here. Very important to contour your face for your face, not the way you see on every YouTube tutorial because everybody has a different shape. I have a huge forehead, so I like to go in a little deeper down here. Hide that, you know what I'm saying? Very important to go into the hairline too because I hate to see that, that white line between your forehead and your hair. You should just blend in naturally. And up and down the nose. Contour always starts off looking absolutely crazy. Hide that double chin. I learned how to contour when I gained weight, believe it or not. That's when it comes in real handy. Them fat days and your cheeks looking like baby cheeks, you just got it. See that look? <laughs> I like to do all the deeper situations before I go in and like highlight my face. I see like this is a little messy right now, but I'll handle that. I always want to do a triangle when you're doing a contour under there. Give you that whole long neck situation that just disappears. Concealer. This I actually like to warm up on my hand first. Just like that. And then like one little swipe. Everybody knows concealer is made for hiding bags and dark circles and hangovers and bad decisions. All right here. The cure. My day to day it really depends on my mood. It depends on the occasion. It depends on how lazy I'm feeling that day. How much in a rush I am. You know, who I'm going to see. <laughs> it all determines what kind of makeup I do, if I do makeup, and how much makeup I'm gonna wear. Okay, now we're looking a little smoother. Whoa. All right, I'm gonna go around my nose because I'm a little sunburnt right now, so I have a little redness there. Straight up and down that nose bridge. Mattifying this face a little bit because things can get out of control. I use this powder to set my contour, to set my makeup, to blot. Oh my gosh, when you get greasy on the fly, honey. It is no joke. Always in my purse. I, I can never leave home without this. And if it doesn't fit in my purse, then I'm changing my purse. I need to warm up this face a little bit. So I'm gonna use a little bit of bronzer and I go right over that contour. The blend is real. A little more finesse on the forehead over here. You guys can see it's not that difficult. It only takes me long when I'm Procrastinating. I'm going along my nose right here. Next, brows. And next, I am going to use the same bronzer and warm up my eyes a little bit. You can see my eye just start to come to life a little bit. See that? I have been watching women do makeup, I mean, since my mom. And then I 
started working in an industry where makeup was going to be part of my everyday basically so i picked up a lot of tips there and i think the best teacher is is yourself you have to practice on your own face because there are going to be things that you can do better than makeup artists like there's a certain point where they hand you something and you do it because there's there's one way that you like it and one way that it works for me that's my brows super super caught up about my brows and my nose contour <sighs> because i'm black you know that's very special nose next is going to be a little bit of eyelid drama beach please beach please get it yeah i'm gonna start with the pink on the lids because it says summer sunset love drama bitches <laughs> <laughs> that was easy i always like to warm up underneath my eyes give it a little definition what kind of day i'm having really determines how i'm going to apply this most days you just want to go right by the lash line but like a day like today where i've barely had any sleep you want to get all those little bags right there but the creases they they show up if they're there they're gonna show up like see that right there now i have to blend that out this is the fun part i'm gonna use the same palette blush is also something that depends on your mood you know sometimes you're trying to give a little natural vibe you have a little bronze like a little hint and then sometimes you just want to go ape, like like right now. Like I want to give you guys a vibe. And my vibe for summer is more is more. You definitely want to smell when you're putting on your blush. Here's your face and there are your cheeks. See, as soon as you smile, you know exactly where to put that, okay? I'm gonna stop now. Now I know you guys noticed that I've been using this really like cool brush, which I like to call my shark tooth brush, but it's a cheek hugging brush. It's made perfectly for your cheeks. I wanna try some of this. Mmm, see that? And I can get really carried away when it comes to highlight. I really good. I layer highlighters all the time. There's a technique to it. You just have to figure out what kind of look you're going for. And the colors need to make sense together and blend together. This is like, whoa, this is giving me my life right now. Highlight my nose bridge with the same brush. Boom. I can even take this and go into my brow bone, just like that. I think the key to highlighter is not being afraid of it. There's always ways to play with highlighter. It doesn't only belong on your cheekbone. A lot of people think that. Makeup is fun. It's there to play with. I like to do the corner of my eyes because it gives you a little <sighs> zest or oomph, as a lot of people like to call it. Look at that. Lashes. Next, I want to do hmm, lips. This looks fresh, like it's in the vein of what I'm trying to do. It looks pink right here. You see a little bit of gold? Look how much it really shows up. Oh! Guys, I mean, you guys. Look at that. I feel kind of cute. Voila! The next and final step is the body. I know you guys know how much it's a brand new one. I know you guys know how much I love this product. I do need this kabuki brush because this is where the magic lies. The inspiration behind the body lava for me I always used to go to the Caribbean, I mean, home, Barbados, where I'm from. And every single time I would sit there and make body glitter makeup with like oil and eyeshadows that I crushed up and pigments. And I would just 
blend it all together to make this nice little glowy thing and I'll have to keep it in like a plastic cup the whole trip. And I always thought I could never find the perfect body makeup. So I made body lava and it is glorious. Look at it. I think I'm ready. Woo! Where are we going tonight? We're going to the car. I hope you enjoy my tutorial because I'm done. Right. <laughs> oh, it's cut. <laughs>